Hello everybody, welcome back to Simulated Heaven and we are back in Zion. I thought I'd show you a bit of a hunting video. Hopefully it won't be too long. Um, now, I believe the other videos I've done, I've shown you my other character uh, who is like my farming and crafting character. Uh, I basically have two accounts, one character per account. Um, and I've basically worked it out so pretty much with those those accounts I I'm able to cover most of the crafting and you know most of the the requirements of the game so that I don't I mean I'm not in a, a tribe I'm just in like a two-man tribe you know of myself <laughs> so yeah that's um, that is why I have another account actually i only started this account maybe a year ago i played this game for uh for several years with only one account and then i found out that it is not viable for me to actually um have a a fighter character with only one account like i couldn't have a a character who is good at everything so the other character that I had first is more of a crafter architecture stuff like that and I worked out in order for me that to be able to be able to fight animals effectively that I would have to have a separate account like a separate character so that is why I started this guy and I've been working on this guy now for a while like on and off and I feel like the grind is quite intense wow good morning everyone <laughs> so yeah um i have been working on this character i have at the moment i have a separate totem for this character because i'm basically grinding i'm using grass i'm using the granite and all this stuff here so that i can grind up the stats that i need so that i'm a good fire fighter character i'm still quite a way away I only have 114 health points and I'm you know still quite a, a ways away but I think that in this game you have to be really careful that you don't just stick purely onto the, the grind because then you're gonna like burn out and you're gonna get really bored so um, I thought that I would um, show you one of the things that I like to do so, so that I don't get really bored and that is hunting now when I say hunting I'm not hunting for large animals I'm just hunting for very uh, small animals small creatures that should be fairly easy for me to kill anyway so all that I need is I need food and I have some food here I need water and I have water on me here and I I need axes because that is what I use as my main weapon and I need a blade so that I can do all the skinning and stuff so without further ado let's head off now I will very very quickly show you and by the way I started off on purpose at like 5 in the morning it's now 6 30 in the morning so that it will be nice and bright as you can see so I'll just quickly show you before I head off this is my main character's tribal area and obviously when I've finished grinding up this character my idea is to bring him back into this into this tribe so it's just a temporary thing that he's over there but as you can see I have been adding a little bit to my tribal area actually over the holidays I have been uh, working on this on this game quite a lot for quite a lot of hours and yeah so it's kind of starting to come together a bit but not loads now one of the things I really like about this game about this game what am I talking about happy Christmas <laughs> I'll start that again um, one of the things I like about my tribal area is that it's got a road that leads from my tribal area which is in a low danger area and it leads up up here there's a road even that leads up here that um, will lead you into the medium and high uh, danger areas where you can find all of the animals so that's really really awesome 
So every time that I do hunting, I basically just run up here, and any of the animals that I see, I will I will kill and skin. But obviously, I think the largest animal that I have I have killed is like a dog. I can't really do that much at the moment. But like I said, it's a good way of alleviating a bit of the boredom of grinding. And it kind of helps you feel good about the grinding that you have done because you can obviously see the results of the grinding with increased strength and hit points and stuff like that. So yeah. Okay, now usually I can find some small animals on this road, but so far I haven't seen any. I, I bet that with this video that normally I would find them and I bet when I'm actually making a video I bet it would uh, I bet there aren't going to be any <laughs> isn't that always the way it's kind of funny now this game was recently released on Steam so if you guys are interested in the game you can now actually buy the game on Steam oh that looks like a revenant. You know what? I found a revenant up here the other day, and he was. It seemed like he was slightly glitched because I tried to hit him and it didn't work. Anyway, now you always have to in this game before you fight anything. Oh, look, there's a rat over there. Before you fight anything, you need to click on it and see what the hit points are and stuff like that. Because you don't want to be fighting something with loads of hit points that you know you're not going to be able to kill, right? So you basically have to click on it, and then you look at the red bar that pops up. Is he running right towards me? Yes, he is. Let's just, uh, before we fight him, look at the red bar. Oh, he's only got 72 hit points, so he should be relatively easy. So I'm, I'm going to press the, the C button, get my attack ready now I'm not very good at fighting and also I find it's really hard for you to avoid their hits you know when you're trying to fight I'm really not very good and like I said I can't really avoid the hits I don't know if it's just my bad skill but I'm sure if you were a good player you'd be able to actually avoid the hits okay anyway I kind of knew that I was going to be able to kill this guy quite easily I'm going to right click on him and loot. It didn't look like he had anything on him, but just to make sure. Whoopsie. Just to be sure. No. He doesn't have anything on him. Um, so there you go. I need to rest now. Now, I believe eventually they will be bringing in some kind of healing. At the moment, there's no real healing. Like you can eat food that will help your health rate to go up faster. And obviously you can do what I'm doing now, which is sleep. Um, but you can't, there isn't any healing in the game as yet, but they are planning on, on adding that healing into the game. Now, where's that rat? Oh, hello rat. Now, a rat should be another easy thing for me to kill. It's got 43 HP. Is my axe low on durability? No. Like, there's so much stuff that I have to grind up in this game. Okay, so I'm hitting for over, over 10 with my axe, which is alright, but it's still not brilliant. But certainly a lot more than I, I was doing before I started all the grinding. But yeah, this game is all about grinding, so if you don't like the idea of grinding... I mean, it's not quite as bad... The grinding is not quite as bad as, say worm online like i i was quite interested in worm online when i tried it out a few months ago but i just found the oh and then it's annoying when they run up a hill which you can't run up come on all right let's zoom in a bit like i said my fighting skill is not oh yeah and it, he is going to run down there now isn't he you annoying rat come back There we go. I know he's going to start. Oh, he's going to fight me. No, he's not. There we go. So the rat is now dead. <laughs> um, now, the the combat in this game is not amazing. But I think one thing that kind of makes it slightly worse is the fact that I am actually playing from Hong Kong. <coughs> oh, 
excuse me and the servers are in america so i'm getting as you can see like 190 ms so that's not perfect but i don't find it that bad okay so as you can see now i'm basically i had to equip the blade in my right hand and then i'm basically right clicking on the animal that i just killed and it will give you all of the options for things you can do skinning and all that stuff now if you have your hunting skill high the quality of the things that you um that you take out of the animals is a lot higher so it's quite important that you get your hunting skill up right so i'm just going to eat one more piece of food here now as you can see from that i got some innards i got some meat i got some small bones i got a head i got some hide scraps and i got a foot or a paw so yeah it's it's kind of cool that everything that you get out of the creature you can use in one way or another like even these kind of creatures that are not very big okay so then i'm gonna try to carry up Let's try to carry on on the road while i'm here i might as well drink water while i'm right by water because i do need a little bit so yeah this is a game whoa there's a bear i'm not going to go near the bear look at the bear now this is what i want to fight eventually this is the whole reason that i'm making a fighting character and this is why i've been doing all the grinding now you can see this bear has got 209 hp i've got 114 so i'm not far off i'm not far off but i still am quite a way off being able like to actually attack this creature if i was to attack him right now i would pro you know i would die pretty fast i mean just look at him so that's what i'm working towards but i'm still a ways away that like, i need to do enough like hours and hours of uh grinding you know for me to get there so yeah i think i started saying yeah like worm online is even more of a grind i did enjoy whoa marmots all over the place i did enjoy worm online but i just thought the grind was so crazy i didn't oh and i always forget after doing the skinning i need to put the the knife away and i need to take out the axe because that's obviously my fighting weapon of choice okay let's try to kill the marmot marmots are a little bit harder actually they hit for quite a lot and if i'm not careful he, he might actually kill me if i'm not careful because like i said i'm really not good at fighting especially when i'm zoomed out like that and you can fight in the water as you can see okay so actually this one is fine whoops let's just it the, oh see see what i mean wow i totally lost concentration and nearly died to a marmot wow i got slightly complacent there when he got very low in health and i started doing like quite you know like the shorter swing thing and i nearly died see that's why i said i'm, I'm really not good at at fighting but this is another reason why you need to do this to kind of practice because yeah i'm gonna need to do a lot of practicing anyway oh look at the marmot he's dead i killed him i'm so mean but yeah so worm online i i did enjoy enjoy it but i but if you think that the grind in this game is hard in that game it's it's crazy grind and i really enjoy the idea of a sandbox game but i really hate the idea of a grind grinding is so boring it's like yeah so basically like any time that i do grinding i have like a movie on in the background or i'm doing other things whilst i'm grinding otherwise it's the most boring thing ever you know so yeah, like in this game, there's a grind, but I don't find that the grind is so bad. I can kind of deal with it. It's still hard, but it's not quite as hard as, say, Worm Online.
Oh, the bear's still hanging about. Is that the same one? 209, yeah it is, I think. Like, he would have me. If you saw how much trouble I had with a marmot, yeah, I'm so bad at this game in terms of fighting. But like I said, I really... Like, my the, the end game is so that obviously, hopefully I can fight larger creatures so, so that I can actually get the bones that I I require for armor and things like that. That is kind of the end game of, of this character. That's the whole reason that I made this character. So hopefully, eventually, I can fight things like that, you know, and I can uh, use it for me to make some really nice armor. Right now, this is one of the reasons why it's kind of annoying that there isn't healing in the game, because most MMOs have got healing. And in this game, you kind of have to wait for the energy to, uh, for the health bar to go up quite slowly again. So anyway, right. So I'm gonna get the stuff out of this guy. Now, I do feel as well that in this game they have really sorted out the animals on the server, like. When the game was first out, or for quite a while after it was first out, the animals were very, very erratic. Uh, but I find at the moment they've really worked it out, so that there's always a, there's always animals about, you know. And it seems like that the population of animals is quite realistic, which is great. Because I can remember a time way before when you would run around and you wouldn't see any animals on the server because they'd, they'd all been killed off and stuff like that. So I think it took them a while, but I think they finally started working out. Right, so I think I've taken everything I need out of this guy. Yeah, so I need to remember to put my axe back, like I said before, because that's the major fighting thing that I use. Um, okay, so we need to head this way. Don't tell me we have to go right by the have to go right by the bear, do we? I hope not. No, let's go this way. I think he'll be fine there. And, and I'll go around this way. Kind of. And hope he doesn't follow me. Okay, so basically I'm just gonna follow this road. Like I said before, follow this road and hopefully see more small animals for me to kill. Now while we're finding another animal it's kind of hilarious. I said that over the holidays I've played quite a lot of this game and I have. I've played a lot but there's, there's another game that I've played quite a lot which is kind of hilarious. It's a game for the 3DS called Fantasy Life and as you guys know I do enjoy sandbox games. Is that a rat again? Yes it is. But I also enjoy, you know, those kind of games that are like the life games. I suppose it's a bit like a sandbox game, isn't it? Boy, oh, this guy is really going for it. And the thing that's weird in this game is you can actually skin things whilst in water. It's a little bit strange, but it's okay. See, <laughs> so yeah, this game for the 3DS, Fantasy Life, is a bit like a game like this, really. Like it just throws you into a world, and you can basically choose a life, and you can go kill animals. You can be a cook. You can be a woodcutter. You can be a fisher. You can be a mercenary. It's it's awesome. Like it's crazy that that they can fit all of this into a 3DS game. <clears throat> and the graphics are actually pretty awesome. Like obviously it's got a cartoony art style, but yeah. So I've been playing quite a lot of that over the holiday as well. Fantasy Life. So I did actually try to get back into into Mortal Online. Those of you that that know me from my other YouTube account which was called Asia Boy 2008 I believe if I remember rightly um, on that channel I did quite a lot of uh, Mortal Online I used to actually play the game quite hardcore but these days oh is this a, a dog this could be the end because usually 
I don't know. I think I should be able to kill this if it's not too... Oh, HP 118. Golden Retriever. Actually, the last occasion I tried fighting a dog, it ran away and it didn't fight me. So let's just have a go with it for fun. I'm probably going to die now, guys, but... Hello, doggy. No, he's not going to run away. Yes, he is. So then you hope to get him while he's running away, kind of. Oh, I missed him there. You see? This is what happened last time. When there was a dog last time, like, he didn't actually hit me. He didn't actually try to fight me. He would try to run away. Which I suppose is relatively realistic. I don't know. Maybe a dog would do that. Okay, so I'm going to be able to kill him. But you see, when he actually hits me... Come on! Whoa, when he actually hits me, when he actually turns around and hits me, he's quite powerful. So it's a good job that he... Yeah, that he was like that. Yeah. And also, I was not hitting. Because the, the combat is also about the technique, but... Unfortunately, my technique is rubbish, so I'm not, I'm not really hitting that hard. I should be hitting a lot more. And you see, when the dog hits me, he hits quite hard. Like, he hits for 11.2, so that's quite hard. So, I find it kind of crazy that um, even after all these hours, like, I've put so many hours of grinding into this character, and still... I can barely, barely kill a dog. But anyway. I'm going to have a little sip of water. So I don't think this video will go for much longer. But um, I'll maybe just find one or two more creatures. Oh, there's another. Oh, it's a pine martin. With 84 HP. Yeah. These things are also quite hard to kill. Anyway, um, yeah, so Mortal Online, I tried to get into it again, but unfortunately that game is just full of players that want to randomly kill other players. It's basically turned into like the medieval version of DayZ, which is really sad because, you know, I like some kind of role play. Like, if you're going to murder someone, like some kind of role play, some kind of reason would be great, but with mortal online the situation was i had like three or four characters that i hadn't played for ages and i needed i needed that to do some farming so i i i could make some gold but any time that i did any farming i'd be farming away and some someone would randomly ride up on a horse and kill me for no reason and the they wouldn't say anything, they wouldn't warn me, there would be no role play. they would just basically kill me for no reason. So, in that game, there were just loads of players that want to be those kind of uh, player killers, you know? And there's loads of them. It seems like that's the main part of the game now. And farming is just so annoying because, you know, I mean, I, as you can see... In this game, I'm always really bad at fighting in games. Always. So, even if I had a character... Well, I do have a character in that game that's a fighter character, but I'm still really bad at fighting. So, I, you know, it's kind of annoying when I'm a player that's like more of a, a crafter and a farmer. It's really annoying that any time you start making any any progress, like any money... Someone is just going to come along, they're going to kill you, they're going to kill your horse, they're going to get rid of the contents, for no reason. And it is really annoying. Like I understand, I do enjoy in those kind of games that there is that element. But I believe in Mortal Online, it's just gone way overboard. Like There are loads of players in that game that are into that. Now, I would just like to point out, I would not actually do this in real life. I would never actually kill a dog and cut off its head in real life. This is a game. 
I'm merely doing this to try to increase my skills. He disappeared! The dog disappeared. What is going on? So I, I only like was able to take out two items. So because it's a large animal, the head I can actually try and, and dissect the head and get more things out of it. But I'm not going to do that right now. Because it will use up loads of my inventory. In fact, I can throw away the marmot head. I don't need it. I'm going to throw away the paws. I don't really use the paws. And the other head. Okay. So let's, let's have a look around. Follow the road. <clears throat> so as you can see, that you do usually find quite a lot of small animals when you are running around so it's really awesome for hunting even I'm even though I'm just on my own it's really fun for hunting okay so I think I'm gonna try and find one more creature and after that I'll, I'll end the video of course if you have any specific questions about this game you can ask me in the comment section below I don't really plan on doing loads of videos on this game I've said in previous videos I'm just kind of showing off some of the aspects of the game really I'm not really planning on making loads of videos on it at all it's a game that I enjoy it's quite a niche game I don't think everyone would in enjoy this game but I you know I do enjoy these kind of games these kind of open world games Heading up the hill. Oh, what's that? Another dog. Is it? Or a cat? What is that? I think it is another dog. Uh, uh, and there's logs. Golden retriever. I don't really want to fight the same animal again, do I? Now let's, let's see if we can find more animals. Maybe a deer. I mean, I can't actually fight a deer, but I thought I could maybe try to show, show you guys a deer. One of the reasons that I made a fighter character is because of the coyotes in this game. The coyotes really annoy me. And if you're not a fighter character, they will kill you easily and they run after you like crazy. And uh, there was one day in particular when I can remember I got I, I got killed by, by coyotes a lot in this one day. And I was, I was like, screw this. What is this? Oh, it's a baby deer! Baby deer! Come here, baby deer! Whoa! Even a baby deer is going to kill me! Maybe not, actually. And I did it! You see what I did there, guys? I told you, didn't I? I forgot to unequip the knife. I should be okay. It's a baby deer. Don't run away now. Oh, no! Oh, I just managed to get it. Wow. Again, I would not do this in real life, guys. It's a baby deer, but it's just a game, and it's just to try to skill up. I hope its parents are not anywhere nearby, because they will kill me in a second. But yeah, I always forget to unequip the knife and use the axe for fighting. It's a really, really, really bad habit of mine. Let's see what I can get out of this mule deer. It's only a baby, so I assume that everything I get will not be a lot. <clears throat> if anything. Did I get something out of there? I can't even see anything. Uh, that was the skin, wasn't it? I don't know. Anyway, whatever. But it's always it's always important that you do every option every time so that you can hopefully increase your hunting. So I'm just going to end this, you know, I'm just going to sort out this, this this animal. I'll maybe just run up the hill a little bit and then I'll end the video. <clears throat> but hopefully it has given you an idea of the hunting. I mean, this is not like epic hunting. This is just very, very basic hunting that I am doing. Like obviously if you hunt in groups of people or if you hunt with a very high high level fighter character you can fight more exciting things like bears or deers 
<clears throat> but yeah, because I'm quite lowly still. Then that's why you know, um, that is why I can't fight those kind of things. And yeah, you see, like there's so many small animals around. Look, there's another squirrel thing. Okay, guys. So hopefully that gives you an idea of the hunting in the game. Oh, a deer! There you go. That's probably the deer's parents. It's going to be an angry, angry deer. <coughs> You can see though that the deer had HP of 212, so even a deer is quite a way away from me really. I can't fight a deer realistically, but hopefully in the not too distant future I will be able to. So thank you for watching the video, and as always I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.